Hello everyone, it's good to be back. My name is Jessica. I'm a California native who just so happens to sing opera. In this video, I'm going to give you all of my tips and tricks on how to thoroughly and successfully prepare for a role. Now these tips don't just apply to opera, but they can definitely be applied to musical theater as well. So grab a pen, grab some paper, grab a snack, and let's get ready to learn. My first tip is to do your research on the composer and the opera or musical theater. Ask yourself, who is this person that created this grand piece of music that I'm about to learn? What stage of life was this person in when they composed this piece of music? Did they have a lot of works that occurred before this? And if so, what did those works sound like? Was there a huge historical event or events that happened around the time that this was composed? Jot all of these things down because there will be some tie to all of this information and how influential that was to the work that they created. Remember, early Mozart's music is very different than late Mozart's music, and there's reasons why. So just make sure to ask yourself and do the research so that you can have the knowledge to know these things could have all been a huge influence onto why this music came to be in the first place and why it sounds the way that it does. My second tip is to read the entire libretto or script before watching the opera or musical. I say this because I want to get you to try to avoid relying only on Wikipedia synopsis. When you have the entire conversation in front of you, you're able to see undertones of emotions going on within those characters and the situations happening around them. As you're reading the libretto, ask yourself questions and take notes. Will that character follow through on what they just said? If so, when? Now? Are they not going to be able to do it? Will it be at the end of the opera? If my daughter doesn't marry a prince, I'm going to have to live this wretched life forever. What do I need to do in order to get myself out of this situation? I think what she just told the king is going to greatly affect me as a person. Once you've taken notes and jotted down all of your questions, get a point of view for each character. For example, whenever I'm around you, I am so jealous because you're living the life that I wish I was living. Get that for each character towards every character. My third tip is to watch the entire opera or musical with a full score. Once you know the entire storyline because you've read the libretto, watching the opera or the musical helps paint the bigger picture, and seeing a full production brings the full story to life. During the watching process, pay attention to how each singer chooses to portray their character. Were they convincing? Was anything surprising to you? What didn't you like and why? What would you do differently? It's also extremely important to watch how each character reacts when they aren't singing or talking. It's so easy to give X amount of emotion when you have something to say. However, true artistry is being a convincing character when you aren't talking. Now for opera singers who aren't fluent in four, five, six different languages, this is extremely hard. But being a convincing character during these times only shows that you know exactly what everyone else is saying. The importance of watching the opera or musical with a full score is to pay attention to what the orchestra is playing and not the notes that your character is singing or the notes that other characters are singing. It's easy for us singers to get so absorbed in the notes that we're singing, and we tend to forget that there's an entire group of instrumentalists that are there to help bring the story to life. And oftentimes, we choose to pay attention to the orchestra during the final rehearsals. And if you don't have experience singing with a full orchestra, it can be really daunting. So pay attention to what instruments are playing and when they're playing them. Pay attention to what is being played before you enter the stage, while you're on stage, after you have left the stage, and also pay attention to what is being played in the overture, because oftentimes you'll get a lot of thematical material in this section. Remember, the music that is playing with us or without us sets the tone and an atmosphere. You need to ask yourself as a character, 
How do I complement that atmosphere? Or how do I even change it? IMSLP is a great resource for those who don't have access to full scores. I'll make sure to leave their link down below in the description box. The next step is to learn your part without the music. This by far is the hardest part and demands the most amount of organization. If the opera or musical is divided into two, three, four, or even five parts, Choose one part that you want to focus on first, and it doesn't even necessarily need to be the very beginning of the piece. For those of us who are singing in a foreign language, we need to grab our dictionary, go to a local library and grab a Nico Castell, or get it at your school if you're a student, download the word reference app, and write down every word-for-word -word translation as well as the IPA. It's also extremely important to write down every word-for-word -word translation for every character. Remember, you need to know exactly what is being said while you're talking, exactly what is being said when you're not talking, and exactly what is being said when you're off stage completely. Once you've got all of your translations and you've written down your IPA, it's time to practice speaking the text with the correct inflections and accents until you can say full sentences fluidly. Before moving on to the final step, make sure that you write in your own words what you're saying as a character, because oftentimes the word-for-word -word translation is very poetic and out of date. Creating your own narrative for your character helps you understand who you are as a person and will therefore translate very well in rehearsals and on stage. The last and final step is to add the music, and this is the part where we as singers really flourish. However, it's important to not forget the small details. We need to look at the music and ask ourselves, why am I singing this specific note? It's not within the harmony. And why am I all of a sudden changing the harmonic structure? I have said 32 times, and I need to be convincing for all 32 times. It's important to find reasonings as to why you are repeating the same words. These are just a couple of examples of looking for the small details. And it's important for us singers to find these small details because oftentimes directors don't have the time nor the patience to spoon feed us this information. Following these steps in their specific order will help build a strong foundation for your character. And that will translate in rehearsals and on stage. You'll also gain a higher level of professional and respect within the music community if you have a clear understanding of what your character has to say. If you liked what you saw in this video, please consider subscribing and also hitting that like button. Leave a comment down below on what roles you're currently learning or what roles you hope to learn in the future. Happy studying and I'll see you soon. <laughs>